At the top of Toyota's lineup is the often forgotten Avalon. Why is that? Well, maybe it's because its closest competitor comes from its own family in the form of the Lexus ES. This is a large sedan from a non-luxury brand and that is becoming a pretty rare thing now. We're gonna take a look at the Toyota Avalon and see if you're getting Lexus features at a Toyota price or if you should just jump straight to the ES. A huge thanks to you all for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing for weekly car reviews and a huge thanks to Coons Westminster Toyota for letting us take a look at this Avalon. A link to their website will be in the description below. If you live in Maryland and you're looking for a new Toyota, be sure to check them out. All right, let's get into it. Let's start at the front of the vehicle. You do have these nice headlights right here. I like how they are integrated into the body. They did a good job of that. Then you have the grill. This is what reminds me of Lexus a lot. The vacuum cleaner grill almost. Uh, and this is just all grill, but most of it is fake. If you've seen any other Avalon videos, you might see it. This trend actually carries throughout the Avalon family, regardless of which grill you get. It's pretty wide and gaping, but most of it is just fake. You do have some real vents on the side that go to your wheel well though, which is pretty cool. And you of course have the blue accents on your Toyota batch indicating that this is a hybrid. No fog lights on this vehicle though. Let's move to the side. Looking at the side of the vehicle, this Harbor Gray Metallic works really well with these nice wheels down here. Lots of different design going on. There are heated uh, mirrors with turn signal in them, which is nice to see. And you do have your blind spot warning in there too. Really nice sleek design. This is definitely a departure from older Toyota Avalon design language. And then it is wider and lower in the previous generation. That is a result of Toyota putting it on the TNGA platform. Uh, they tried to make it wider, lower, sleeker, and they definitely achieved that. Got a hybrid badge on the side so everyone knows you are driving the sleekest, cleanest Avalon around. Overall, really nice window profile, really nice long design. Definitely lots of Lexus influence here. The back of the vehicle, you have this really striking LED tail light. Love how they wrote out Avalon along that. Looks really, really nice. Um, again, blue around your Toyota badge back here. Also indicating that this isn't a hybrid. You have no tailpipes here, uh, no visible tailpipes at least. So definitely showing that it is a hybrid vehicle, hybrid badging there. This is an XLE, so you get your XLE badging. Not too much other than that. Let's open your trunk. You can do that with your key. In here, you're gonna find 16 cubic feet of space. You can fold the seats down with a 60-40 split. Let's talk about the trims you can get for your Avalon Hybrid, starting at $37,000. The XLE, like what we have here today, it's gonna get you a nine inch screen with Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto yet, uh, but that's probably gonna be coming pretty soon, I'd imagine. Then you also are going to be getting blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, and you are also getting Toyota Safety Sense. The next trim up is the XSC. This is a non-hybrid XSC. It's about $40,000. You're gonna get special 18 inch dark rims. You're also gonna get genuine aluminum interior trim and a sport tuned suspension. At $43,300, the limited hybrid is going to get you features like heated and ventilated front seats. You're also getting 18 inch super chrome wheels and a genuine wood interior. Now here in the interior, things are really, really nice. You can tell they tried to make this more premium and set it apart from like the camera here and they definitely did that. Nice leather in the middle, nice soft touch up on the top and around here, that is really nice. Uh, some fake stitching would look nice up here actually. You have really nice wood accents up here along your doors, really, really nice look. And your seats have really intricate designs in them. They feel nice to sit in, they're pretty soft. Um, they might be a bit stiffer for the Avalon's older audience, but Toyota is probably trying to bring the age gap down in the Avalon lineup. You have this nice sunroof up here, and then just everything is generally nice. You have lots of metal trim in here. Uh, this is a little soft touch, but it's a little harder than I would like considering my knee keeps touching it. Other than that, few complaints about the interior design and layout. It's appropriate and definitely nice for this price point of vehicle. Let's talk about storage areas in this vehicle. You do have a nice big area right there, could easily fit your phone. Two cup holders, one a bit oddly shaped. They do have the little bits that hold your drink in, which is lovely. 
Opening up this top, you can see you have USB ports in there. Pretty deep cubby considering this is, a, this is a sedan. And then you have a nice little maybe coin holder, pens, whatever you want to put in there. Moving out and around. Nothing really back here. You can just pull this out. Nothing extraordinary. And if we move around to your glove box, we will find not much space for anything other than the manual. All right, let's talk about technology. You have this nine inch end tune system right here. You have this cool battery display on the right. So it shows you where uh, the energy in the vehicle is going. And then of course you have your music and phone connection on the left. Again, Apple CarPlay in this video, but no Android Auto. So you Android users, um, that's gonna be something to consider. Something that's kind of cool is this trip information. You can see the use of electricity through the trip, which is really, really cool. Um, again, being a hybrid electric focused vehicle, it is great to see that. Really nothing too, too interesting about this vehicle. Um, you can see it is fairly simple, uh, fairly snappy using this uh, Entune system. If I go to the menu, we can see some vehicle info and look at, again, this cool little eco chart, which will show you how the vehicle is performing. Um, and maybe you can learn from that. And you can also learn from right here. This shows you how economically you're driving. If you're driving correctly in that eco zone, if you're charging the battery or if you're using the engine for power, really cool gauge there. Continuing to talk about technology, let's talk about that center screen. It is nicely flanked by those real physical dials. It's controlled right here. As you scroll through, it's not really customizable, but you can see your driver assist features right there. Music, um, this gives you some basic information about the vehicle, really, really nice um, animations right there beautiful and you have an energy monitor just like we saw in that main display again more safety features so overall this is definitely going to give you all the information you need not super pretty or customizable but definitely gets the job done with some flair here in the back legroom is plentiful uh, you're gonna have no worries being four tall adults back here the roof line does slope a little so if you're taller than you know six one six two you that might be a bit of an issue but for me it's not at six foot uh, you do have a pretty wide middle seat but a pretty big hump too so probably not being three back here but you're definitely fitting two nice pull out cubby right here it's surrounded in piano black if you have kids that's gonna get messy pretty quick but you do have two cup holders and a nice little pen holder in there too, which is nice. Two air vents back here. You also have two USB ports, storage pockets in the back of the seats. The seats back here are comfy, just like the ones up front. Overall, nothing really spectacular about this rear area, but you're definitely gonna make good use of it. And you have a nice view out the sunroof up there. Let's get into this vehicle. It does have keyless entry. There's your key, pretty typical Toyota key. Opening it up, let's get in and shut the door. Door sounds pretty good. Looking around your cabin here, pretty nice aesthetic to it. Foot on the brake, press the button to start up. And this being the hybrid vehicle, it is gonna start up in EV mode. There is a dedicated EV only mode right next to your shifter. Let's talk about your shifter. It's pretty short, but feels good in the hand. Uh, nice, they did some nice finishing on it. Nice leather boot there as well. I wish your steering wheel was leather or something nicer than the material they chose here. That does not feel that good in the hand. Everything is nicely reachable, really nice, just flowing lines throughout the vehicle. Uh, sight lines are really good. You have really thin pillars all around, lots of glass. So really, really like that. Here's your view out the car. It, it's pretty fantastic. Under the hood, you will find a 2.5 liter four cylinder paired with an electric drive unit, which is going to send about combined 215 horsepower to the front wheels. Um, you're, you can expect around 43 miles to a gallon in the city, around 44 on the highway, which is pretty good for a large sedan like this. Let's talk about safety. All Avalon hybrids are getting Toyota Safety Sense as standard. That's really a standard suite of safety features. On the Avalon, it's gonna get you radar cruise control. You're also getting a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. Also included is lane trace assist and a road sign assist and automatic high beams and a few other guys in there which are getting you to a five-star safety rating. Really, really nice system there. So does this bring Lexus features to a Toyota price? In a lot of ways, yeah, that's a really snazzy interior. And it, while there's nothing spectacular about it, everything is just generally refined and nice. 
you have a really sleek design inside and out, similar to Lexus's. And while you may not be getting like the Lexus infotainment system, you're getting the Toyota one, that will still do just fine for most people. And ultimately, if you don't want the, sna the crazy overstated Lexus grill and looks, this has the crazy grill, but overall, it still is a generally attractive vehicle that's understated. And if you want a more low key yet luxurious ride, this should be on your list, especially if you're concerned about getting good fuel economy. A huge thanks to you all for watching and a huge thanks to Coons Westminster Toyota for taking a look, letting us take a look at this Avalon. If you're interested in buying a new Toyota, their website will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you in next week's video.